What's up, Nintendo Gamers? The Kid here with another Wii U update. And a lot of you guys have been very eager to hear about my next update for the Wii U. So those on Facebook, here you go. Like I promised, I said it was going to come next week. So here's a little bit of news and what you guys wanted me to address. So the first thing I'm going to talk about is the new patents that Nintendo has revealed for the Wii U. And that is voice recognition. One or more additional microphones may be provided on the front and or back surfaces. Facial recognition technology or facial recognizing technology. Possible video phone, gun style controller slash attachment, keyboard input, Possible 3D controller screen, possible HD controller screen. Now, most of these have been confirmed. Um, far as the HD screen, now the 3D screen, I really don't think that's necessary. We have the 3DS. Let's not make it similar to the 3DS, you know, because the 3DS needs to be its own standalone item. We don't need anything similar to it that will just make it. The Wii U having uh, 3D capabilities would just overshadow it almost. The controller, um, the gun style controller and attachment is actually something that we seen in the first demonstration trailer um, where they was playing a mini game with uh, Miis and they had a, uh, it attached to something that looked it like a Wii zapper. Um, and, you know, it doesn't mean that they will actually utilize it, but it means that it's the technology is obviously there for um, games like maybe Call of Duty or any other shooters that may come out for uh, the Wii U. Um, possible video phone. Um, another thing that's been already confirmed now I don't know about phone but in a de demonstration trailer um, you did see uh, where you can talk to others uh, f with the controller screen um, from wherever they are we already seen that and um, about the voice recognition uh, I haven't seen that in uh, the the uh, trailer for the Wii U now we do know the Wii U obviously has a mic again that goes along with the video phone uh, patent uh, so you have to be able to hear someone uh, if you're going to you know video chat with them so that's there but um, this the extra microphones could mean like maybe again for like Call of Duty or if you don't want to just talk out loud uh, and then I guess maybe if a game utilizes the mic or something, you don't want everybody hearing your conversation, especially if you're like have your Wii U in the living room. It would just present itself as very awkward, you know, if your family or anyone else was around. It just seems more awkward for them to hear your conversation. So those are some of the patents that. Um, were recently revealed by Nintendo and they are pretty good uh, although the 3D one I don't think is very necessary um, it's it has to be possible that the, the controller has a HD screen because it's a HD system why wouldn't the screen be HD I mean why lower the quality to the screen if you're gonna encourage people to play on the controller you know if someone else wants to view something on the TV so again it it's you know it solves itself basically um, so in more news um, I'm gonna be talking about Pikmin 3 and that's where Miyamoto has said something about it which basically it's the same information we have had before he has said before but I guess I'll read it out to you guys he says that originally I was making Pikmin 3 to be launched on the Wii platform but because the Wii U is capable of HD quality pictures and will be uh, accompanied uh, by the sub screen um, on your hand I thought that I would 
be able to make a pigment that was closer to my idea. I am now actually enjoying myself working on the game. So it just goes to show that Wii U has been in development for far more than any of us think because if he intended for Pikmin 3 to be on the Wii um, and decided to switch it over to the Wii U, that means that the Wii U was already in development prior uh, to the Wii. So. The Wii U is no, by no means going to be a rushed console like some are throwing up in the air. Um, so I think that's a good idea that people who are a fan of Pikmin are get, going to get a third installment. And hopefully it is a launch title for the Wii U because we don't want the launch titles uh, becoming like the 3DS where it's absolutely horrific and low sales start to accumulate because of well bad software uh, for the first lineup of games so I personally never play Pikmin I think well maybe I played it once but I never got into it like I wanted to so maybe um, in the future I can get you know some games some of the previous games and play them and then you know become a fan because from what I heard they're really good um, so you know I would also love to see a Pikmin on 3DS that would be cool or if they re-released uh, the two Pikmin on a 3DS that would be really cool to play uh, for p folks who haven't played the originals on the Nintendo GameCube so that's pretty cool that hopefully maybe that Pikmin 3 will be a launch title for the Wii U. So, um, this is one that you guys uh, have been asking me about, is the rumor that Retro Studios is working on a Skyward Sword sequel. Um, it's still up in the air. Um, people are rumoring that they're working on Star Fox. People are rumoring that they're working on a new Metro game for the 3DS or the Wii U. So, Everything is not clear until Retro Studios uh, or Nintendo says themselves what they're particularly working on. F my personal opinion, I really wouldn't want Retro Studios to do a Legend of Zelda game because one, I think Nintendo's doing fine, and two, Retro tends to want to change things, which fans might not like. Um, I know that fans say, oh, Nintendo needs to change this, that, and the other with Zelda. But then if they do, people tend to complain. And then we get all that unnecessary um, crap that everybody uh, wants in the next game. So Skyward Sword was very revolutionary to me as a Legend of Zelda fan. And I would like it to continue with the traditional uh, motion controls for your sword. So... The next Zelda, I would like Nintendo to work on it themselves. Um, not that I don't like Retro Studios. Yes, they are a good company. I love Donkey Kong Country Returns, and I like the Prime series. But about the Prime series, they it kind of almost felt like it wasn't Metroid. Um, it didn't have much to do with Metroid. It just felt like it had their characters, and that was it. Um, I didn't feel like I was really Sam. Well... I felt like I was Samus, but I didn't feel like I really knew Samus um, or anything. And Other M, though it has been talked about badly by other gamers, I thought it really made me feel connected to Samus and the whole Metroid franchise than the um, Retro Studios Metro Prime series because Metro Prime series just seemed like it was its own, it was its own standalone game series. It, w it really didn't have nothing to do with the actual timeline of the Metroid series. Uh, even though it did, it just felt like that to me. Like they were just someone else's uh, reimagining of uh, Samus' story. So that's just me. I didn't like the design of her suit either. I liked it. I liked the other M's uh, where it's more um, in line with the Super Metroid uh, Verrera suit. So, that's just me. Um, but if they worked on a, a uh, Skyward Sword sequel, a Legend of Zelda, that's fine. Uh, um, 
of course, it will probably be most likely an awesome game, but at the same time, I would prefer Nintendo to just make it. I actually wish they would just make an F-Zero game or maybe Star Fox. I still believe that they will make a good Star Fox game. So that's my personal opinion like you, you guys want. So that's my opinion. That's what I think about it. And, again, still it's just a rumor. It's up in the air on what Retro Studios is particularly working on. So, um... I don't know if I have more news to report. Of course, the the reason why these Wii U updates come so distant, so apart from one another, is because there's only so much Wii U news, and I don't, every time something comes up, I don't want to make an update and have like a thousand updates with only one thing to say about the Wii U or what's been revealed about the Wii U, because it will make no sense. I'd rather it build up and build up, um, so that everybody can be informed about um, more than one thing. Uh, so that's just how I want to do things. That's why these are so uh, far apart from it, each other. So about Assassin, Assassin's Creed um, 3 on the Wii, it's a rumor, but basically it's it's true. Uh, Ubisoft already said that they're going to have an Assassin's Creed for the Wii U, so why wouldn't it be Assassin's Creed 3? It, it doesn't make any sense where they're going to put Assassin's Creed Revelations. They already said they're not. So most likely it's going to be Assassin's Creed 3, which is supposed to come out in October. Uh, so that's for the PS3 and Xbox 360. Of course, the Wii U will come out a little later, and that's another thing. Um, the Wii U has basically been given a release date, which I think I already touched on this in the last update, but I'm going to just remind you guys. The Wii U is said to be coming out uh, uh quarter four of this year so that is basically in november and november 18th of this year is also black friday so like i said in my other video uh, the wii u will most likely come out in november i don't think it will come out in december um because if it came out in december there will be absolutely no chance of actually getting the wii u um at that time because of course Christmas time and even in November you'll probably have a, a hard time finding one just like um, I had a hard time finding a Wii in 2006 so uh, I'm not sure if you can pre-order the systems from what GameStop told me they said I cannot pre-order a console so that's kind of unfair to me, I guess, why can't I pre-order a console? But maybe that was just someone who didn't know that what they was talking about. I'll ask again because if I could, I would start, you know, making payments on it, I guess, till it's released. Um, so I think that's all for this update. Um, until more things are revealed about the Wii U, I will be updating you guys on it. So if you guys have any questions, comment in the uh below and you know whatever your thoughts are on this information and of course all the sources of the information will be in the description and also don't forget to join my facebook fan page uh, which i will also put a link in the description so just click the link if you have a facebook like it and you know you'll see my videos posted on there and you'll see pictures um, and other posts and subjects there that I will post there for people to talk about. So that's it for this update. I'll be doing more updates on the Wii U as more things are revealed. Thank you guys for watching.